Hi everyone, my name is Melissa. In this short video, we'll take a look at how to perform a combination of full and partial text replacements, all in one single step. Here's our data, and it consists of several text strings. We also have a replacement list that you can see right here, and that contains a look for value, followed by whatever to replace it by. Some of the values we want to replace in full, and others in part. But both are listed here. Alright. I'll go to the Transform tab and select Replace Values. Just press OK, and I'll open the Advanced Editor window. So we want to look for each value in the name column. So each name. Next, we want to perform a conditional replacement depending on what's in our replacements list. If we can match the entire string, we want to replace it in full. And if not, we want to look for partial text replacements. Okay. So if list contains we'll call our replacements list and enter the value name so name now this is not going to work because our replacements list as we saw earlier it contains a list with nested list so each first item in the list is the thing that we're looking for. So we need to update this code a bit and transform our replacement to list. List transform. Replacements list first. All right. Let's move this to a new line. So we've modified our replacements list, so we're only keeping first items. That's the thing that we're looking for. If that contains whatever is in the name column, we want to do a full text replacement. And we can use list replace matching items to retrieve that replace by value. So then, list replace matching items. It wants a list as a list, so I'll enter those curly brackets. Call the name column. And then the replacements list, so replacements. And we can make this case insensitive. Compare ordinal ignore case. So this will return a list with one item, the value to replace it by. So to extract that, we can use the item access operator. Those curly brackets refer to its first position, a zero. Now the else clause will be pretty similar to the then clause. So let's copy the syntax here. Let's copy it in full. Control C, so else. Paste it back, control V. Now instead of the name, we need to see if there's a partial match, right? So we need to split up the string in the name column. For that, I can use text split and split that value on spaces. That will return a list, so there's no longer a need to add those curly brackets here. And because only the matching items will be replaced, we need to assemble all those words back into a single string again. So I'll wrap text.combine around it. So text combine, comma, and we'll add back the space that we removed. 
Let's press done. Perfect. The type is type any. And if we change that replacer to replace text instead of replace value, that should fix that. So now it returns a text data type. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.